Hey everybody, so um, today I wanted to get just a quick project done. Steve and uh, my new friend, uh, new uh, haunter helper, helper haunter, um, uh, Ryan is gonna come over and we're gonna finally get down uh, to details. So I figured why I'm waiting for them and uh, why Levi is still sleeping, thought I'd get a quick project done. Um, I've been wanting to uh, get something for our walkway uh, to kind of uh, keep people in line and all that, but I didn't want to just do just tinky torches or just a you know piece of wood in the ground and just rope it off. I want something that um, is going to kind of echo the haunt. So uh, I saw actually on Pinterest, uh, Pumpkin Rot did a whole thing with, pump, uh, with uh, paper mache on a tinky torch. And I was like, paper mache, tinky torch, <gasps> corpsing. Um, so I basically doing just like I did with my scarecrows, um, took uh, plastic trash bags on the tinky torches with uh, some mason, actually with my witches, my witch jars that I made. And, um, and this is what they kind of look like. I got one more to do, but this is what they look like. Um, this was my first one here. Um, not the best, but um, I'm okay with it. Basically what I wanted to look like is basically that these people um, have taken their uh, skins and drape them over their tinky torches. And so that is number one. And what we'll do is actually on the night we'll actually just drop a uh, tea light in the top. So and then this is the second one. I actually uh, added some bones to this one. And that is the second one. Like I said, we'll just do uh, tea lights in the top. So that's the second one. The third one I'm working on now, and that's why I paused um, so I can get this all videoed. But I took a tiki torch, mason jars sitting in there. I took uh, three of these little rims uh, from the top off so I can spray it out and then just slid it all down so now it sits uh, here. There's actually a little metal uh, ring that this actually uh, that the jar actually will sit on um, and then it's all gets tightened up uh, with the, the, the bag so tiki torch jar uh, just I'm doing the just a regular white trash bags and my paint is uh, just the rust primer duct tape and then uh, some bones that I had left over from that bag of bones uh, from Garden Ridge. So uh, let me get to it and we'll show you guys step by step here. You're watching Nightmare on Lakeshire. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what you do is you take trash bag, you rip a hole in the top of it, drape it over, and uh, basically it will just, as you can see, it catches on these little spikes, and you go on some of them to kind of pop through, and you just stretch it as tight as you can all the way out, and uh, I just do duct tape as I twist it, uh, twist the bag up to get it tight, uh, I just put duct tape in there uh, to kind of tighten it all up and keep it in place. Uh, the bones, because there's, because the stick is actually hollow, I just poke the one bone down in there. And this foot one, I just kind of took, put in there, put a piece of duct tape um, around it to hold it in place. Um, and uh, once that gets all melted around, I think it will actually look pretty cool. I've got uh, one more, but I think if I did like that, um, it may look too weird. Um, so I think I may hold off on it we'll see um so now i take it stick it in the ground and get it uh as you can see right there all right so there we go all um all heat gunned up you can see as it uh you know just stretches out it actually hardens so this will actually get tightened up uh so that the uh, jar itself won't go anywhere um so that is what it looks like after heat gun and you want it sporadic you want holes you want that kind of jazz and like I said, I'm not too worried about like the duct tape showing because that gets sprayed here. So um, let me uh, go ahead and get to uh, get to spraying. So there we go. A uh, little spray paint on it. Uh, you want to be as careful as you can around the bones because you actually want the bones to, uh, you know, to show. Um, like on this one here. Got a little too close, but the bones will still show. This one, I'm not going to worry about the bones. Um, just kind of leave it the way it is. But, uh, yeah, I think they actually kind of look kind of cool. I may add some more string, uh, get rid of this top here, 
uh, the string there. I may get rid of that um, and then just add some more string up here um, and maybe even wrap some string around that. Um, and you know what? As I talk about that, I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. All right. So here's the finished product. I think they're finished. Did a little, did the rope, did the twine. So uh, nothing else has changed except we, uh, I want to introduce you to somebody. You know Steve. So. <laughs> Enthused as always. And this is Ryan, our new uh, happy helper haunter. So uh, the three of us are actually going to get to some work and uh, talk about our plans for the haunt and uh, go from there. So go grab some, some uh, crappy tinky torches and some trash bags and have fun. Peace out.